Welcome to the office. While the record hunters have had mixed fortunes, excess returns to the Rue du Rhum. Olympic sailing gathers in Miami, Florida, while the kites are on Vinton Island in Ind Indonesia, and Singapore welcomes the windsurfers. But first, desktop opinion is what its name suggests, a kind of opinion on any given news. Listen to this story. When referring to high technology, communications becomes extremely important. Let's go back for a few seconds to our report on the TP-52s in K-West released last week. When you're called Quantum, you even use the services of your own drone before each race to provide extremely accurate information. Hence, our big surprise when Duke DeVos' team summons us to read a formal statement regarding our comment. So here it is. Hi Sebastian, we would like to clarify the usage of our drone is not used in any way to capture cell trim or any associated information. Your comments are incorrect and misleading. We refrain from further comment. From Florida, the main competitors campaigning for the 2016 Games in Rio gather in Biscayne Bay, Miami. On the last day, a moderate breeze and bright sunshine are on the menu dedicated to the medal races. With the fourth place, the French Sofian Bouvet, Jeremy Mignon, snatched the victory in 470 men. They put an end to the hegemony of Australian Belcher Ryan, who had a whooping 18 international victories in a row. We are very pleased to have beaten the Australians and end the 18 events winning strike. It was really important for us and we really try to do exactly the same in the next event. Belcher Ryan are happy with their silver and the bronze goes to the American McNay Hughes. And the other guys, the, the French and the American side extremely well this week um, and we've got a lot of ideas and, and really we're quite happy we improved uh, a lot throughout the week. A huge triumph for Vicklin McIntyre in 470 women. As if it was not enough to win the regatta, the pair also concludes with the victory in the middle race. Le Cointre de France and Viadlo Oga complete the podium. It was a bit of a nerve-wracking race. We came from behind and didn't have a very good start. So we relied a lot on our downwind boat speed, which we've been working on over the last few weeks. And, and luckily it came through for us. With his second place in the middle race, Giles Scott narrowly defeats the week-long leader Oliver Twaddell in the Finn class. The bronze goes to George Sarif. I'm going to take a hell of a lot away from this regatta and, you know, in the way of lessons. Uh, it's been a very difficult week with very bad, uh, bad weather, but, you know, the organisers have done well to get a good regatta at the end of it. In the NACRA 17, a well-deserved victory belongs to Bissero Sikuri after winning the medal race. Sajak Tanja and Saxton Diamond completes the podium while Iker Martinez Pacheco finish fourth. The record hunters have had mixed fortunes. King Joyon is shaken in his kingdom and is under attack left, right and centre. Armel Leclerc signed a huge performance on the Discovery route. His record time will be hard to beat. Averaging 23.16 knots between Cadix and San Salvador in the Bahamas, his prowess is outstanding. Well, less than seven days to cross the Atlantic, we didn't think we were going to achieve that. I'm really happy. We had a great weather window to go super fast, especially after the Canaries Islands. Armel smashes the reference time by one day, 16 hours, 24 minutes and 47 seconds. On day 14, Tomasz Kowalski brings Sodebo is well over a thousand miles behind the pace setter, King Francis. After a St. Helena high, particularly active, the weather forecast forces the skipper to consider a detour to the Antarctic ice. Two and a half days, almost a three, stuck in the infamous St. Helen High. But what really dictated our choice is this massive high pressure that would force us to sail right in the middle of the icebergs. So it was deemed unreasonable to keep going. As a good seaman and facing a very dangerous scenario, Thomas decides to avoid the possible disaster and throws the towel. 
Returning to its grassroots, the queen of the transat, the Route du Rhum, will be a spectacle not to be missed. Jan Guichard is entering Spindrift to the largest multi-hole in the world. It is above all a human challenge and a sporting challenge. I am a competitor and if I enter the Route du Rhum is because I know I can be competitive with this boat. Well, she usually carries 14 crew members. Jan will sell solo this triple XL monster across the Bay of Biscay and the Atlantic. It is the largest of the 3,200 islands that makes up the Chachipelago. Binten Island is located 48 kilometers southeast of Singapore and part of the Indonesian province of Rio Islands. The kiteboarders love the little paradise of Chikora Beach. With about 25 knots of wind and waves breaking on the reef, the show is awesome. The current race board champion, Naharara Beach, Yoprudla, is unbeatable and leave the opposition in his wake. In the women category, the Swiss Astrid Beards is simply too fast. The freestyle competition organized near the beach is a real delight for the onlookers. 136 participants gather in the Mecca of Sailing in Singapore for the 33rd Open Windsurfing Asia Championship. After two days of strong winds, the competitors welcome in more manageable conditions on Bay 3. In the Techno 293 class, the tension is palpable for the final round. The title and the qualification for the Youth Olympic Games held next August in China goes to Chan Ching Kint from Hong Kong. He narrowly defeats his fellow compatriot Cheng Ho Yun. In the girls, Duan Kamen from Thailand takes the title ahead of the Chinese Lim Hin Fing. In the race board class, the British Paul Leon avoid any unpleasant surprises in winning every races. In the RSX women, Hong Kong resident Nye Wang Yan wins the title ahead of compatriot Lo Sin Lam. In RSX men, Fanuta from Thailand manages to keep Gunaverna from Sri Lanka at bay. And finally, in Mistral 1 design, the defending champion Cheng Kuang Fai keeps the title ahead of Li Chung Ting. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing. <laughs>